Uh, sort of continuing that last thought of that video that I had. You know, I think Japan has made me a worse person. I don't think that I've felt this disgusted with myself and life since... I always go back to that story. I've told this story many times of, you know, and it's not like I was actively looking for it, but I was definitely going out of my way almost in a sense to, I, I was miserable doing it, right? When I was helping homeless people, kind of, it's almost weird to say on the down low because that makes it seem like I was actively pursuing it, which I wasn't. I was just, you know, whatever. I was an idiot and, you know, you're thinking about dying and, trying to make the world a better place when I should have been having fun doing whatever I could to have fun. You know what I mean? Using, you know, I've told the story before and then I was in the bathroom at one point with this homeless guy and he was like, well, I can't eat the cereal you got me unless you give me milk. And I just was like, oh, nothing I do will ever be good enough. And then I will go home and I'll read a bunch of messages on the internet about what a terrible person I am, all this kind of stuff. They don't know that I'm sick in the first place and that I go and trying to make the world a better place like a fucking goddamn idiot. Point is, I'm disgusted with myself, right? And I feel that way right now. You know, I talked about that kindness thing in Japan and it's like really bothering me, right? Because it's kind of like that fake kindness, right? Like again, Japan has sort of a, on some level, a high standard of kindness right but there's random obscurities where they're just not kind to each other it seems to me personally from my perspective and it started to it started like it's starting to like disgust me almost when people are surprised that i'm holding doors open for them you know trying to help that grandma walk across the street and it's like so shocking that it's it started to disgust me because i'm feeling you know i've said this before and, you know, of course, so many fucking haters watch my videos, too, I'm sure. I'm sure it's not all nice people like, oh, Clayton so thinks he's nice, blah, blah, blah. You know, you know what I mean? It's, it's ridiculous. Like, dude, all my regrets in life are being a nice person. I said before when I was dying, I had one of those, a weird luxury that, you know, when my doctors were telling me I was dying, I never had any even thought of oh I better call that person and apologize for something I did because all my regrets in life are how nice I've been all my mistakes in life have been because of how nice I've been you know if you even talk about the video game stuff look at why people originally hated me in video games because I stuck up for people who weren't popular because I knew it was the right thing to do I knew that I would hope that someone would stick up for me if I wasn't popular you know I wasn't afraid to not be cool or something like that you know what I mean I just I knew it was the right thing to do so I did it and I got a lot of hate for it despite you know after the fact you know you found out that all the bad people were who I said and the people I defended were good people but again you know all my mistakes in life I just feel constantly make me miserable. Being a nice person has made me fucking absolutely miserable in my life. Like, it seems so ridiculous. When you think of Japan, you think of Japan. And certainly, you know, in terms of hus hospitality, 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 I'm forgetting my English, right? Japan is really good in that aspect, right? You know what I mean? You don't need the tip and the service is great. And again, there are certain things that are amazing about the sort of kindness, I guess, of Japan, but why do I feel like, even despite that, that people are surprised how kind I am? Do you know what I mean? And it's like disgusting me down to my fucking soul right now. I feel extremely fucking bitter, especially because this trip has turned what should have been one of the best experiences in my life has become just an absolute hell. You know what I mean? Despite the fact that, you know, I've said before, the first time I was in Japan, I was like, wow, I can't believe how much fun and how much I enjoyed it, despite not being a nerd, not really playing video games anymore. And I was like, wow, I'm very shocked at how much fun I'm having. I can't wait to go again. Well, boy, 
fuck me. This has been an absolutely terrible fucking experience. You know, I think in this world, just in life, I've talked about before, we need to be bettering ourselves. We need to become a better version of ourselves constantly, learning new things about the world. And that's why, you know, that's why, I mean, maybe from a certain perspective, I'm lucky that, you know, I've been to some other countries and I've talked to all different sorts of people all from around the world. You know what I mean? But I've said before, and it's kind of a, maybe it's beautiful in a way, maybe it's sad in a way, but the more people you talk to from around the world, the more different people you meet from different cultures, you find out that everyone is the same, right? I mean, we all have our differences, of course, but the more, from a certain perspective, the more people you meet, the more different people seem, the more you realize people are just the same deep down. Being nice is weird. You know, truly caring about people is weird. I guess it's a weakness, right? You know, I just don't feel like I, I I can't say from this Japan trip that I have learned anything new. It's just made me more bitter about how bad things have gone, how my entire life has gone. That, you know, and I've said before. I've like finally reached the point where, you know, my health is, you know, not just killing me physically, obviously, right? But it's finally starting to break me mentally, right? And I think that was one of the strongest things I've always been able to say that despite, you know, dying, all that kind of stuff, going through all these different health things that my mental strength, despite complaining, you know, I got to get my complaints out. I got to bitch about things, get it out feel better right move on my like mental fortitude you know what I mean despite all the shittiness in my life has been strong and it's forced me to work out when I couldn't walk you know what I mean it's forced me to work out next to garbage bags you know what I mean to continue to go but you know more and more that mental strength is like leaving me my will to live is leaving me to be honest with you and this trip has not made that any better my will to live is not very high anymore and that's like I said I've talked about how depression can be a convenient excuse and a convenient luxury for people that have people that will care about them or in good health because being depressed or something like that or not feeling good or not having the mental strength to go on when you actually have real health problems is not good because you're gonna fucking die dude there's nothing you know there's nothing keeping you supporting you there's no foundation supporting you if that makes sense you know I just again I feel like I've learned nothing from Japan just you know I've talked about I don't how to improve myself as a person Am I going to learn something new? Am I going to have some kind of amazing experiences that make me feel so much better about life and nothing this trip has? You know, it's, it's crazy. And people be like, oh, man, well, you know, you had some crazy... Oh, we're jaywalking. I'm sorry. I'm, I've officially become Japanese. Um, that is my bad. Um, lost my train of thought. Uh... I talking about I jaywalked and now I feel bad (laughs) that that shows you how I'm too nice and it's like fucking with me that I did something not good Um, you know you need to improve yourself that's what I was saying become a better person oh yeah and some people are like well man maybe you had weird experiences like oh man you know you had that mom and the daughter both tried to fuck you on the train you had all these weird things of girls doing it's like dude I have weird girl stories from America. That doesn't mean shit, dude. I, I, how many times have I showed you, like, dude, I get weird reactions out of girls no matter what fucking country I've been in, for better and worse. You know what I mean? That's not, you know, it's, like I said, I, who cares, right? It'd be amazing if it was, you know, not anticlimactic stories, but 
like I said, I'm a bizarre level of reactions with girls. I can tell you, I, I've had girls that I've talked to them here like, oh, we know you're having sex with everybody all the time. You know, I don't want to do anything with you. And it's like, oh my God, you, know, you have no idea what Japan has been like for me. I've gotten messages. People think I'm a fake scamming account. They, they think, even in Japan, I've gotten messages. People think I'm like some fucking deep fake. And it's like, dude, what is going on with my life, dude? It doesn't matter the country. You know, people are like, I can't, you know, I told you my friend, it's like, I've never seen any girl act the way you do, like, when I've seen you out in public. And it's like, dude, I still am getting messages, just absolutely weird fucking things. And yeah, there's some kind of cool shit, like, people are like, man, I can't believe, you know, I wish I had a mom and daughter try to fuck me on the train at the same time, ask me to come home. It's like, bro, I've already experienced these things before. I've experienced them in other countries. It's it's funny that it happens in Japan too, but it, it's over. You know, they're, they're, I've learned nothing new from Japan other than that my life is fucking cursed, as usual, dude. It's just again, what is the positive experience? That's what I when I talk about like video games as well. Video games have nothing for me. I've already fucking like basically, you, you know, no one is gonna like compete with the shit that I have done in video games with my health and the way it is, right? You know what I mean? I've done it. You know what I mean? There's just nothing else that... The only reason people even still constantly complain for me to play video games is because they want to see me lose. They want to see the evil Clayton lose. Oh, Clayton hasn't played in two years now. Maybe we can finally beat him and pretend that he was practicing. Like, I've still seen people even post, even now on my YouTube, like, hey, are you going to play any games in Japan? It's like, no, dude, I don't plan on playing any games, dude. I don't play video games. It's very fucking rare. And it's like, dude, people just, you know, they don't. And the point is, video games, what is like, well, what am I doing with my life? I can't better anything. You know, I just can't believe it, dude. You know, I woke up today to a bunch of other shit. I'm still waking up to weird fucking messages from girls. It doesn't matter what country. People making up weird bullshit about me. It's like, what are you fucking talking about? You have no idea how this fucking trip has gone. You have no idea what I've been doing. Anyway, I'm just... What a fucking trip, dude. Japan has only made me more bitter more disgusted with life with people everyone's just the fucking same no matter what the country I've wasted my life trying to be nice I'm down this fucking rabbit hole that gets me fucking nowhere dude Ugh. I can't even tell you how pissed off I am at some of the messages that I read today of just absolutely insane people thinking I'm some terrible person or I'm a fake account. It's like, give me a fucking break, dude. This shit happens every fucking country I'm in. Like, can I just fucking have fun? Can people, like, treat me in a somewhat normal fucking fashion? Ugh. Ridiculous, dude. Anyway, I gotta catch my train. The end.